Hey, how's it going? Oh, you didn't expect this, huh? Well, me neither. <laughs> we moved to a new house recently, and that's why I haven't been posting that much as I was busy with the moving out uh, and into this new place. But it's so nice, man. Like, we've I mean, we used to live in this tiny, tiny apartment in Paris, and uh, now we've pretty much dabbled the, I mean, the, the floor space, and it's really, really comfortable, really nice. I'm gonna give you a little tour of it right now. So yeah, new year, new house, new workbench as well. Ooh. Workshop in the on the left, editing in the on the right. And this place is so nice. You know what? I used to be working very differently. I used to I used to work on my quads at this table. Uh, this is our dining table, by the way. So I would I would just work on on my quads like this, and then like in the evening, I would have to put everything on the side here and kind of like scoot here to get a plate and eat. So yeah, it was not the most convenient thing. But now, I've got this massive place to work on. But that's not really the reason why you came here today. You came here to learn something. The day. You came here to learn how to find the sickest FPV spot around your place. And that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, basically, this video has been requested to me over the last year numerous times. And I thought it could be fun to kind of give you a few tips and tricks to find the best places. Uh, it's not gonna be like, I mean, it's gonna be my approach to, to it. I've got different methods. There's no one best way because there's so many different ways of finding a place. If you've got a new another one, just like leave it in the in the comments down below. And at the end of this video, I'm also gonna we actually gonna find a real bendo spot that I'm gonna give you out basically. So yeah, let's get started. So the first tip that I can give you is just look around. Like there's so many places around you, you that you can fly fairly safely. Yeah, there's so many places around you that you can find and find and fly fairly safely. Uh, just just keep your eyes open 24/7. Every time you go somewhere, just look around. Keep an eye out for uh, a little tower, a little building that you've never seen before, or, or just a park if you if you fly in parks as well. You can just find so many places by just driving around and and just checking it out. All right, so the second method is basically an evolution of the first one. Um, it's the, the method is basically that you kind of know where you're gonna go, but you, you don't exactly know where to fly in that place. So let's say, for, for example, I'm going to my family's in La Boule, which is uh, in the west of France. So what I would do is I would like just search it directly on Google. It pops here, I open the map, and here when you open the map, you're not gonna wanna just look at the map like that. You wanna look at the satellite. So you click on the, sat the satellite, and then you've got, uh, you've got a lot of options. Already we see that uh, this place has got the beach like that. It's got different, uh, it's got like some type of like sea marshes over here. It's got a wild coast here. Like the coast is slightly different here. It looks kind of rocky, uh, and then We've got some industrial areas as well around here. So this gives you kind of like a, a, I mean different areas that you could go to. Um, let's say for example, I wanna explore this place. So I'm gonna zoom in and, uh, oh yeah, here I see some really, really nice, uh, really, really nice rocks. So that is cool. Uh, then, now that I've got this, I can tell that this, uh, one second. So 
So yeah, now that I've got this, I can I can really see everything that's around it. So um, yeah, this this seems like a cool place to go and fly. So what I would do is that I would actually go there and uh, kind of look around and see what I like best. Maybe like by looking at the the map, I'm I'm going to be thinking, okay, maybe I want to go like Pointe de la de la Pierre uh, Platric, but maybe. Uh, by driving around, I'm going to think, oh, the Bay de la Bonne Vierge is going to be better. So yeah, it's just about like, you look on the map, uh, on the satellite view, and then you get closer and closer, uh, and you just like look around in person to see it. So yeah, that is my second tip. All right, third strategy. Uh, now we're getting into the real stuff, the big stuff, like proper private investigator kind of sh shit, you'll see. So the first one, uh, just to get inspired, basically you, sh you need to go to websites like these, uh, Urbex Session. This is a French website that's uh, mainly about France. There's, they're doing European stuff as well, uh, and also kind of around the world, but it's got a lot of like locations in France. Um, so yeah, you go to an Urbex website, and you kind of look at the places around. Like for example, there's this one that I really like. I think, oh, okay, so um, they change the names every time. So there's no point, in, like you can still search it, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of like chances you won't find anything. All right, so you've got, you've got this website here and, uh, and you've got this spot. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, here we've got a lot of, of uh, top, I mean, top shots from like satellite kind of looking things. All right, this is this is very interesting because we can see you've got two buildings and then you've got a bunch of stuff at the back as well. Um, this is really cool. This, yeah. How does it look like now? All right. So we've got we've got these two like that. It looks like it's kind of close to different things, but not that much. So that's cool. All right, we've got a whole bunch of like top views and then we've got old pictures as well. You want to look at the old pictures because sometimes in the old picture you'll find like a little sign or something. So yeah, basically what I'm doing now is I'm going to try and look at clues that I can find on the name of the locations because now, now we've got this spot that we find interesting. We want to find where it is and for that we need a name. So you kind of start looking for it like uh you just you just look at any type of stuff that could help you uh they said it was a sanatorium so that means it was curing people during uh and it was curing people uh, of tuberculosis at some point all right so here we've got first clue uh so we've got a uh, stamp it's a french stamp so we know that this place is in france now all right, this is this is good news because I'm in France as well. All right, I'm gonna keep searching. Okay, this place this place is really looking interesting. I don't know how it looks now. I mean, I actually know because I've been there, but yeah, I mean, it looks very interesting. All right, we we keep we keep searching. Now we've got actual pictures from the place right now, and it looks nice. It looks a bit creepy at times, but yeah, it looks cool. Okay, we've got, you You really want to look at the things that are written down. So here we've got, we've got something that is very important, a little notebook with a lot of, it looks like numbers, sorti, yeah, exit. Uh, all right, so this one is from 84. So that place was still uh, going in 84. That's interesting. Okay, um, so we're looking at the different numbers. We don't really see anything. Traffic 82. Right. Hold on. 82. Is that a department? Uh, right. I'm going to look at like if it's a special district. Something. Alright. Uh, I don't think that's it. Alright. Um, Alright. So, yeah. Nothing much on that one. Oh, oh, shit. We found something. <laughs> you have to look very carefully in these. Here it says traffic 
pompe funèbre crée. Pompe funèbre is basically uh, I mean the uh, funerarium. And Cray is the name of a city. So that thing is close to Cray. Cray. All right. So we've got Cray here. Interesting. All right. It's here. And the place that we've seen is kind of in the forest, but not that much. I mean, now, uh, I, I mean, I know that it's around this city because. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't send it to send people to the funerarium over there. So that is really cool because we can go back to our things and be and, and search for it now. So we've got a top shot like this. So it looks like it's kind of in the forest. All right, all right. Uh, actual pictures from now. Yeah, this one is from 2016. So that means the building is likely to still be there, and it's kind of in the forest. And we've got fields as well. All right, I'm gonna look for that. Uh, all right. Unfortunately, there's a lot of forest around here, so where can that be? Uh, all right, we know it's around here somewhere. We know it's around here. Now it's just about to find the right area. Uh, This could be around here. Oh, wait, why is that? Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. My internet sucks, by the way, because it's. Uh, I'm still waiting for <laughs> for them to install the right connection. But yeah, for the moment. What is this? Oh, that's a golf. Sucks. No, it's not. That is not it. Um. Alright, uh, let's keep looking at the clues, alright, so we're looking at the clues, alright, here we've got the next one, Hôpital de Paris, so that means this hospital belongs to Paris, we are in the right way, I mean we are in the right path. Alright, Cray, yeah, this is also kind of close to Paris, so I know that this might be around here somewhere. I keep looking at the clues. Oh, we've got another one. Pavillon Varenne. Alright, I'm going to look for that, you know, Pavillon Varenne. Oh, alright, Angicourt. Pavillon Varenne, Angicourt. Ooh. We've got something here. All right. If I click on the picture, I find Sanatorium Dangico. Hey, we may have found something. Sanatorium Dangico. All right. What is that? Shit. There's a lot of pictures from it. Okay, okay. Um, I find something else now. I find a local newspaper speaking about the story, speaking about the place. I think I, I've not done this before, like this whole like th this whole investigation that I'm doing. I know the place from different uh, sources, but this is fun. Like, okay, so clearly we find it. Hôpital Vilma, l'ancien hôpital Vilma. All right. Now we know that. This hospital is called Hôpital Vilma. All right, we gotta look for it. Hôpital Vilma. Jardin Vilma. All right, I'm gonna add the city because I'm, I'm I'm a bit confused right now. Hôpital Vilma. Hôpital Vilma Paul Dume. All right, it keeps adding names, but. Uh, all right, there's an, there's another website here. Give us the address, motherfucker. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It says Angicourt, all right? Uh, Angicourt. 
en Gico. Oh, ok. So now it's in Angicourt. Alright. I'm looking for it. It's, I mean, it's, it's tightening. Clearly, we're getting closer and closer. Because you see, Angicourt is here, and Cray, the place, it's just right there. So that means we're very close now. We've got the top shot as well. We're going to find that thing. We're gonna find that thing. I, I don't even like I mean honestly like I don't know how to find it like that, but like I'm gonna look for it. So it's pretty it's pretty fun for me as well to do. Um okay we we know that there is we've got uh fields around it. Um Okay There was another name that came up when I wrote Hôpital Vilma, it was Liancourt. And Liancourt is right next to... Oh, but this hospital... Okay, I found the, the actual hospital. This looks exactly like the one we saw. But I know for a fact that this is not the right one. This is a copy of the one that we want, uh, that was created after. All right, um, so we go back to Angicourt. Uh, 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 Angicourt. All right, let's find that thing. I'm gonna look a bit like more in the forest because I think it's a bit more in the forest. Uh, all right, if we go up that way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. What is here? What? As long as you find new things as well, like uh, by looking at that, like that. Uh, no, that is not it. it um, oh, found it. <laughs> Yeah, it was in Angico actually. So it's right here. Yeah, I mean, we can compare what we found here to um, the place that we've got in here. All right, let's go and compare that. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So we found it. You can follow back this this thing, and you will find this spot, which is a sick spot, by the way. I and mean, you've got you've got two buildings. One of them burnt out re recently, and this whole part here is actually where we flew with Morelli and Kevin. Uh, I mean, no, uh, Onigiri and Kevin, uh, and also like we we've got a lot of videos like in this part as well. This part is completely abandoned, the part at the top, so you can go whatever. The other one is pretty guard heavily guarded, but sometimes you get lucky and you can you can just like rip it. Uh, all right, so this is one spot that I'm, I'm giving out for you just like that for free. <laughs> um, all right, next, let's move on to the next things. I'm super excited I found it that way. The next advice I'm going to give you to find really cool spots is uh, you have to multiply your like uh, sources of I mean to find stuff. You you have to I mean really good sources are the local newspapers. So what I usually do is I type abandoned uh, place in like certain cities that I'm around or like even a whole state or a region. And uh, I just look for it like that. And usually you will always have some local newspapers speaking about that hospital that has been abandoned for uh, 15 years or 20 years or whatever. And that way you can kind of like trace your steps and find the place and then you figure out whether or not it's flyable and whether or not it's safe. Uh, and then you can just go and, and rip it. 
Um, that's one way of doing it. I've been looking at different ways as well, like uh, old postcards, for example. I would just look in like archives of a lot of different buildings and things like that. And you can you can uh, find some crazy shit doing that because uh, they give you directly the name of the city and everything. Uh, so yeah, I've been looking at postcards from like the 1930s and, and I found a spot like that. Um, another way is to look, I mean, sometimes you've got registries as well of, uh, I mean, the, the whole air of the whole area in the register, what kind of place has been abandoned or uh, in a new development. Uh, yeah, every time you see a crane, every time you see something, just go and fucking have a look at it because they might be a really cool spot hiding. I mean, every time there's work, somewhere look for it I mean there's like construction work constructions are amazing if there's no one on site it's a really cool place to fly as well uh, then you've you've got you've got uh, so yeah the registries I've talked about it uh, yeah pretty much that is it for like the different sources that you can have internet I mean this, this is your friend like you just uh, Google Earth and just look around, sometimes just wander around the place as well, just wander and look and, and you'll, you'll find some new stuff all the time, you'll find some new, new shit, so that's for sure. And maybe the last tip I'm gonna give you and leave you with is that just share what you do with other people. And if you share it, people will also share stuff in return and uh, you'll find new spots. Like, I mean, half of what I find, I mean, I show on my videos, are things that either people invited me to or either people told me were there and uh, yeah I've just found like so many places like that so yeah you, you have to kind of share it with even people that don't necessarily do FPV you just just uh, share it with everyone and yeah you'll find everyone knows like a little abandoned place or a nice place that they think could be cool to fly and just like that, you will multiply your places uh, to fly. And if you do, you will also progress because flying in different areas and challenging places is the key to success. It's been the key to progress for me, for sure. I mean, uh, I, at first I was never flying in the same place, twice almost. I, was, I would always, every week I would fly somewhere different and somewhere that really scared me. Uh, and yeah, like, I think it helped a lot so yeah just share it with everyone if, and same if you've got I mean a spot to share with me in the comments below feel free to do it uh, or by just just like a private message or anything uh, if you want any more tips or if you've got tips to find spots as well just leave them down below and I hope that this proved that there's nothing I mean there's nowhere you there's nothing uh, that you can't find anything maybe if you live in the desert or if you live like uh onigiri used to in a place where all around for eight hours drive there is nothing but apart from that there's always something you can find to fly so yeah happy flying see you next time bye bye I can't stay, stay.